And I'm going to conclude this set of examples with a system that you might also know, Bash. And in case you don't, Bash is a Unix shell written as a free software replacement for the traditional Born shell, also called SH. So what I'm showing here is the descriptive architecture of the commands component of Bash. So is the architecture as implemented of the commands component of Bash. And the component is the one here sort of highlighted in gray. And what you can see here, these names are the subcomponents of the commands component. And if we look at this architecture, two design problems of the component can kind of jump at us. The first one is the lack of cohesion within the component. So if you look here, you can see that only a few connections exist between the subcomponents. And having a low cohesion is normally not a good thing for a design. The second thing that we cannot is the high coupling. The components has tons of connections with other components that are these edges that are leaving the components and going towards other parts of the system. So basically, this component has low cohesion and high coupling, which is exactly the opposite of how a good design should be. Given the structure, it is clear that any time you change this component, you might need to change a bunch of other components in the system. And of course, when changing other components in the system, you might also need to change the commands component as well. And along similar lines, to understand this component, you probably need to look at many other parts of the system, which is also less than ideal. And one important point here is that with all these examples, I'm not really trying to criticize any specific system. What I'm trying to show instead is how complex software architectures can be and how much they can degrade over time. And this is true for most systems, not just the ones that I showed you.